Have you ever felt like you've wasted years of your life? Maybe you made some wrong choices, missed opportunities, or faced difficult circumstances that left you feeling stuck. If that sounds like you, I have good news straight from the Bible. God is about to restore those wasted years. The book of Joel declares, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, declares the Lord. Joel 2 verse 25. This is a powerful promise that no matter what we've been through, God can redeem our past and restore our future. I remember a time in my own life when I felt like I had lost so much. I made some decisions that led me down a path I never wanted to go, but God, in His infinite love and mercy, stepped in and turned my life around. He restored what I thought was lost forever. Today, as we look at eight signs that indicate God is about to restore all your wasted years, keep this verse in mind. These signs are like a road map guiding you towards the restoration God has in store for you. So if you're ready to see your life transformed, keep watching. Let's dive straight in, my brothers and sisters in Christ. As we dive deeper into our theme of restoration, let's reflect on the powerful and profound story of Job. Job was a man who experienced unimaginable loss and suffering, yet his story is one of incredible faith and ultimate restoration. In the beginning, Job was described as a man of great wealth, integrity, and righteousness. He had a large family, abundant livestock, and a reputation as one of the greatest men in the East. But in a matter of moments, everything changed. Job lost his wealth, his children, and even his health. A series of tragic events struck him. Raiders took his livestock. A great wind caused the collapse of a house where his children were feasting, and he was afflicted with painful sores all over his body. Imagine the despair Job felt. He went from being a prosperous man to sitting in ashes, scraping his wounds with a piece of pottery. His friends came to visit, and instead of comforting him, they questioned his integrity and suggested that his suffering was a punishment for sin. They could not understand the depth of his pain or the nature of his relationship with God. Job cried out in anguish, expressing his confusion and sorrow, yet through it all, he never turned away from God. In Job 1, verses 20 and 22, we see Job's response to his suffering. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. What a powerful testament to faith. Even in the depths of his despair, Job chose to worship God. He recognized that everything he had was a gift from God, and he understood that God's sovereignty extended beyond his circumstances. Job's faith was not based on his blessings, but on his relationship with God. As the story unfolds, we see Job grappling with his suffering. He longs for answers and pleads with God for understanding. He questions why the righteous suffer while the wicked prosper. But instead of receiving immediate answers, Job is met with silence. It can be so difficult to wait on God especially when we are in pain and seeking clarity. But then, after enduring his trials, God speaks to Job. In Job 38, God responds not with explanations, but with questions that highlight his power and wisdom. He asks Job, Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Through these questions, God reminds Job, and us, that his ways are higher than our ways, and that his understanding far surpasses our own. 
Finally, in Job 42, verse 10, we read, And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. This verse is a powerful reminder that even when we feel like everything has been taken from us, God has the power to restore and even multiply what we have lost. Just as He restored Job's fortunes, God can restore your life too. If you've ever felt like the devil has stolen your joy, your peace, or your dreams, remember that God is in the business of restoration. He can take what the enemy meant for harm and turn it into something beautiful. God sees your pain and He is ready to bring healing and restoration to every area of your life. Consider the things that may have been stolen from you. Hope, relationships, opportunities, or even your sense of purpose. The enemy loves to whisper lies that tell us we are beyond hope, that we are unworthy of restoration. But the truth is that God is always working behind the scenes, preparing to reclaim what has been lost. In Isaiah 61, verse 7, God promises, Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. This verse beautifully illustrates God's heart for restoration. He desires to bless us abundantly, even when we feel we have nothing left. As we explore the signs of restoration today, keep in mind that God is actively working in your life. He is preparing to give back to you what the enemy has stolen, and He is ready to bless you beyond what you can imagine. Job's story teaches us that restoration often comes after the darkest moments in our lives. It's easy to lose hope when we are in the midst of trials, but God is always faithful. He can take our brokenness and turn it into a testimony of His goodness and grace. So, if you're feeling discouraged or overwhelmed today, hold on to the hope that God is about to restore all your wasted years. Just as He did for Job, He can turn your mourning into dancing and your despair into joy let this story encourage you to trust in God's timing. Restoration may not come in the way we expect or on our timeline, but God's plans are always for our good. He is working behind the scenes, orchestrating a beautiful story of redemption in your life. As we move forward in this devotional, I encourage you to open your heart to the signs of restoration. God is ready to reclaim what has been lost and to bless you in ways you never thought possible. Remember, you are never too far gone for God to restore you. Embrace His promise and let your faith rise as we explore the signs that indicate God is about to do something incredible in your life. The first sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is a deep desire for change. When you start feeling restless and discontent with the way things are, it's a sign that God is stirring your heart. He wants to lead you to a better place. But He often begins by creating a hunger for something more in our lives. I remember a time when I felt stuck in a rut, both in my personal life and my relationship with God. I had settled into a comfortable routine, but deep down, I knew I wasn't living up to my full potential. I longed for a change, but I was afraid to step out of my comfort zone. Then, one day, I felt God tugging at my heart. It was like He was whispering, there's more for you. Don't settle for less. That desire for change grew stronger and stronger until I knew I had to take action. I started praying more, reading my Bible with fresh eyes, and asking God to show me the areas of my life that needed to be transformed. As I stepped out in faith, God began to open doors I never thought possible. He led me to new opportunities, restored broken relationships, and reignited my passion for serving Him. It wasn't always easy, but I knew that God was with me every step of the way. 
In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So, if you're feeling restless and discontent, take heart. God is stirring your heart for a reason. He wants to lead you to a place of restoration and fulfillment. Don't be afraid to step out in faith and follow where He is leading. As you embrace this desire for change, get ready for God to do something incredible in your life. The second sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is the appearance of new opportunities in your life. Have you ever noticed that just when you're feeling stuck or lost, suddenly, new doors begin to open? Maybe you receive a job offer that feels perfectly aligned with your skills and passions, or perhaps you meet new friends who inspire you to grow. It could even be a new hobby or interest that ignites a spark in your heart. These opportunities are not just coincidences. They are God's way of orchestrating events in your life. He is actively working behind the scenes to lead you toward restoration. When God opens a door, it's an invitation to step into something greater than you could have imagined. In Ephesians 3, verse 20, we are reminded, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. This verse beautifully captures the essence of God's ability to exceed our expectations. The opportunities He places in our path are often just the beginning of what He wants to do in our life. So, if you start noticing new opportunities, whether it's a job offer, a chance to volunteer, or even a new friendship, don't overlook them. These are divine moments where God is inviting you to step through the door He has opened. Embrace these opportunities with faith and excitement, knowing that they are part of His plan to restore what has been lost. Be ready to take action. Sometimes, stepping through that door requires courage and a willingness to leave your comfort zone. But remember, God is with you guiding you every step of the way. Trust that He has a purpose for you in this new season and get ready for the incredible things He has in store. The third sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is a renewed spirit. Have you noticed a shift in your heart lately? Perhaps you're feeling more hopeful and excited about the future even in the midst of your current circumstances. This change in your heart is God's way up preparing you for the restoration He has in store. In Psalm 51, verse 10, King David cries out to God, saying, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. This verse beautifully captures the longing for inner transformation and the renewal of the Spirit. It's a prayer for God to cleanse our hearts and fill us with a steadfast, hopeful spirit. When God begins to restore what has been lost or broken in our lives, He often starts by igniting a spark of hope within us. It's as if He's saying, Get ready, because I'm about to do something amazing. This renewed spirit is a gift from God a sign that He is moving in our lives in powerful ways. So, if you've been feeling a shift in your heart, a newfound excitement for what's to come, don't ignore it. Embrace this renewed spirit as a precious gift from God. Allow Him to fill you with hope, joy, and anticipation for the restoration He has planned. Remember, God is in the business of making all things new, he doesn't just patch up what's broken. He creates something extraordinary out of our lives. As you step into this season of renewal, keep your eyes fixed on God and trust that He is working behind the scenes to bring about the restoration you've been longing for. The fourth sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is the presence of support from others. Have you noticed people coming into your life who encourage you, uplift you, uplift you, 
and inspire you to be your best self. This is not just a coincidence. It's a beautiful sign of God's love and provision. God often works through people to bring about His plans for our lives. When we find ourselves surrounded by positive influences, friends, family, mentors, or even new acquaintances, it's a reminder that we are not alone in our journey. These relationships can serve as a source of strength during challenging times and can help us see the potential for restoration in our lives. Proverbs 27 verse 17 tells us, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This verse highlights the importance of surrounding ourselves with people who challenge us to grow and encourage us to pursue our God, given purpose. Just as iron sharpens iron, the right relationships can help us become the best versions of, of ourselves. If you find that certain people are lifting you up, celebrating your victories and supporting you through difficulties, take a moment to appreciate these connections. They are part of God's plan for your restoration. Conversely, if you notice relationships that drain your energy or bring negativity into your life, it may be time to reevaluate those connections. Surrounding yourself with positive influences is crucial as you move toward restoration. Seek out those who inspire you, challenge you to grow, and remind you of God's promises. Remember, you are worthy of love and support, and God delights in bringing the right people into your life at the right time. As you embrace this sign of support from others, be open to the encouragement and wisdom they offer. God uses these relationships to guide us, heal us, and prepare us for the incredible things He has in store. Trust that He is working through others to bring about the restoration you've been waiting for. The fifth sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is a growing desire to help others. Have you noticed a shift in your heart lately? A newfound compassion for those around you? This desire to give back is a beautiful sign that God is working in your life and preparing you for restoration. When we go through difficult times, it's easy to become consumed by our own struggles and challenges. But as God begins to heal and restore us, He often turns our attention outward, helping us see the needs of others. This desire to help is not just a passing feeling. It's a calling from God to make a difference in the world around us. In Galatians 6 verse 2, the Apostle Paul encourages us to carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. This powerful verse reminds us that helping others is not just a kind gesture. It's a way to live out our faith and honor God. When we come alongside those who are struggling and offer support, encouragement, and practical assistance, we are fulfilling the greatest commandment, to love God and love others. As you begin to feel a growing desire to help others, don't ignore it. Allow God to use this desire as a catalyst for change in your life and the lives of those around you. Look for opportunities to serve, whether it's volunteering at a local charity, offering a listening ear to a friend in need, or simply being a source of encouragement to those you encounter. Remember, helping others is not just about what you can do for them. It's about the transformation that takes place in your own heart. As you pour out love and support to others, God will pour back into you, filling you with a renewed sense of purpose, joy, and restoration. So, embrace this desire to help others as a sign of God's work in your life. Allow Him to use you as a vessel of His love and grace, knowing that as you carry the burdens of others, you are fulfilling the law of Christ and experiencing the restoration He has in store for you. The sixth sign 
that God is about to restore all your wasted years is increased faith. Have you noticed a shift in your spiritual life? Perhaps you find yourself praying more often, diving deeper into the Bible, or feeling a stronger connection to God than ever before. This deepening faith is a powerful sign that God's preparing you for the incredible restoration He has in store. In Hebrews 11, verse 1, we read, Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This verse beautifully encapsulates the essence of faith. It reminds us that faith is not just a passive belief. It is an active trust in God's promises, even when we cannot see the outcome. It is the confidence that God is working on our behalf, orchestrating events in our lives for our good and His glory. When we experience increased faith, it often comes during times of uncertainty or struggle. God uses these moments to draw us closer to Him, inviting us to rely on His strength rather than our own. As we face challenges, our faith can grow stronger, much like a muscle that is strengthened through exercise. The more we lean on God, the more we discover His faithfulness and love. Consider the stories of the great heroes of faith in the Bible. Abraham, for example, was called to leave his home and journey to a land he did not know. He had no idea what lay ahead, but he stepped out in faith, trusting God's promise. In Romans 4, verse 20 and 21, we see that he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Abraham's unwavering faith was rewarded with the fulfillment of God's promises, and his story serves as a powerful reminder for us today. As you experience increased faith, you may find yourself more devoted to prayer. Prayer becomes a lifeline, a way to communicate with God and seek His guidance. You may feel compelled to spend more time in His Word, discovering new truths and insights that speak directly to your situation. This hunger for spiritual nourishment is a clear indication that God is at work in your heart, preparing you for the restoration He has planned. In moments of doubt, remember that faith is not the absence of questions or uncertainty. It is the decision to trust God despite them. It's okay to have moments where you feel unsure or anxious. What matters is how you respond to those feelings. Instead of allowing doubt to take root, choose to turn to God in prayer. Seek His presence and ask Him to strengthen your faith. He delights in our honesty and is always ready to meet us where we are. Moreover, as your faith grows, you may notice a shift in your perspective. You begin to see challenges as opportunities for growth and setbacks as setups for comebacks. This shift is a testament to God's work in your life. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, we are reminded, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This means that even when circumstances seem daunting, we can trust that God is in control and that He is working all things together for our good. It's also important to share your journey of faith with others. When you testify to God's goodness and faithfulness, you not only encourage yourself but also inspire those around you. Your story can be a beacon of hope for someone who may be struggling in their own faith journey. As you share how God is increasing your faith, you create a ripple effect of encouragement and strength within your community. Finally, embrace this season of increased faith as a preparation for the restoration God is bringing into your life. 
He is equipping you with the spiritual strength and confidence you need to step into the new opportunities and blessings He has in store. Trust that your faith is a vital part of this process. As you lean into God, He will continue to reveal His plans and purposes for you. So, as you recognize this sixth sign of increased faith, take heart. God is preparing you for something extraordinary. Embrace the journey, lean into His promises, and watch as He unfolds His beautiful plan of restoration in your life. And finally, the last sign that God is about to restore all your wasted years is a new perspective. Have you noticed a shift in how you view you your past struggles? When you begin to see those challenges, not as failures, but as valuable lessons, it's a profound sign of God's restoration at work in your life. This transformation in thinking is essential for moving forward and embracing the future God has planned for you. Life is full of ups and downs, and it's easy to become discouraged by our past mistakes or hardships. However, when God is at work in our hearts, He helps us to understand that every experience, both good and bad, has shaped us into who we are today. Instead of dwelling on regrets, we start to recognize the growth that has come from our struggles. In Romans 8, verse 28, we are reminded, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This powerful verse reassures us that God is actively involved in our lives, weaving together our experiences for our ultimate good. Even when we can't see it at the moment, God is using every situation to mold us, teach us, and prepare us for what lies ahead. When we adopt this new perspective, we begin to view our past through the lens of God's grace and purpose. The pain we once felt can become a source of strength and empathy for others. The lessons learned through hardship can equip us to help those who are facing similar challenges. This shift in thinking opens our hearts to the possibilities ahead, allowing us to step into new opportunities with confidence and hope. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. After being betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, and wrongfully imprisoned, Joseph faced immense trials. Yet, when he was finally reunited with his brothers, he said in Genesis 50, verse 20, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Joseph's ability to see his suffering as part of God's greater plan demonstrates the power of a renewed perspective. As you reflect on your own life, ask yourself, how can I view my past struggles differently? What lessons have I learned that can help me grow? By embracing this new perspective, you allow God to transform your pain into purpose. You begin to see that your experiences are not just isolated events, but part of a larger tapestry that God is weaving for your life. This new way of thinking not only brings healing, but also empowers you to move forward with hope. It encourages you to take risks, pursue dreams, and engage with the world around you. When you understand that God is working for your good, you can face the future with confidence, knowing that He has a plan for you. So, as you recognize this last sign of a new perspective, celebrate the growth that has come from your past. Embrace the lessons learned and allow them to propel you into the future God has for you. Trust that God is restoring what has been lost and preparing you for a life filled with purpose and joy. My brother, my sister, remember that God is always at work in your life, bringing about restoration in ways you may not yet see. Keep your heart open to His leading and be ready to step into the incredible future He has planned for you. With each sign of restoration, 
you are moving closer to the fulfillment of His promises. Trust in His goodness and watch as He transforms your life in extraordinary ways. As we conclude today's devotional, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder. God's divine restoration is on the way. No matter what you've been through or how long you felt stuck, God is actively working in your life to bring about healing, renewal, and transformation. Sometimes, it can be easy to lose sight of this truth, especially when we face challenges or setbacks. But remember, God is not limited by our circumstances. He is the creator of the universe, and His power knows no bounds. In Isaiah 43, verse 19, God says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? This verse is a call to open our eyes and hearts to the new possibilities that God is bringing into our lives. As you move forward, keep your faith strong. Trust that God is orchestrating every detail for your good. He is the God who restores what has been lost, who brings beauty from ashes, and who makes all things new. Your past does not define your future, and the struggles you face can become the very foundation for the testimony you will share. I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the signs of restoration we discussed today. Are you feeling a deep desire for change? Are new opportunities presenting themselves? Is your spirit being renewed? Are you surrounded by supportive people? Are you feeling a growing compassion for others? Is your faith increasing? And have you gained a new perspective on your past? If you can identify these signs, rejoice. They are evidence that God is at work in your life. As you step into this new season, hold on to the promise that God is with you. He is walking alongside you, guiding you, and preparing you for the incredible restoration that lies ahead. No matter how long the journey may seem, trust that God's timing is perfect. He is never late, and His plans for you are filled with hope and a future. So, as you go about your day, carry this truth in your heart. God's divine restoration is not just a possibility, it is a promise. Keep your eyes fixed on Him and be open to the amazing things He is about to do in your life. Believe that your best days are ahead and that God is ready to unleash His blessings upon you. Before we close, I invite you to join me for a moment of prayer. Let's take this time to come before God, to lay our hearts bare, and to seek His divine restoration in our lives. Whether you're feeling burdened by past struggles or hopeful for the future, God is here, ready to listen and to heal. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with grateful hearts, acknowledging your goodness and faithfulness. Thank you for the promise of restoration that we find in your word. Lord, we lift up every person watching this devotional, asking that you touch their hearts and lives in a profound way. Father, for those who feel weighed down by their past, we ask for your healing touch. Help them to see their struggles, not as failures, but as lessons that have shaped them into who they are today. Grant them the grace to forgive themselves and to embrace the new beginnings you offer. Lord, we pray for renewed hope and strength. Fill each person with a deep desire for change and open their eyes to the opportunities you are placing before them. Surround them with supportive friends and loved ones who will encourage and uplift them on their journey. We ask for an increase in faith, Lord. Help us to trust in your promises, even when we cannot see the way forward. Remind us that you are working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail for our good. And finally, Lord, we pray for a fresh perspective. Help us to perceive the new things you are doing in our lives. 
May we walk in confidence, knowing that your divine restoration is on the way. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers. We trust in your perfect timing and your unfailing love. May we go forth with hope and anticipation, ready to embrace the incredible restoration you have in store for us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining me in this moment of prayer. May you feel God's presence with you as you continue on your journey toward restoration. Remember, you are never alone, and God is always working for your good. As we wrap up today's devotional, I want to remind you that you are marked for restoration. God has incredible plans for your life, and He is actively working to bring about healing, renewal, and transformation. No matter what you've been through, His promise of restoration is for you. If you are ready to embrace the divine restoration that is coming your way, I invite you to type Amen in the comments below. Let's declare our faith together and affirm that we are open to the amazing things God is doing in our lives. Also, I would love to hear from you. If you have specific prayer requests or need support, please share them in the comments. I and others in our community would be honored to pray for you and stand with you as you journey toward restoration. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest devotionals and messages of hope. Join our community as we encourage one another and grow in faith together. Thank you for being here today. Remember, you are loved, you are valued, and you are marked for restoration. May God bless you abundantly, and I look forward to seeing you next time. This outro effectively reinforces the theme of restoration, encourages viewer engagement through comments and subscriptions, and creates a sense of community.